Hey. Thank, Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. I'm happy to be here. Yes, sir. I'm not going to be long, but I want to talk about each one of the panelists before I say the subject what I'm going to talk about. Well, but, just a question, because we got, got folks lined up. Oh, okay. okay. Well, yeah, well, I, well, well let, let me just finish this, at least. Okay, I'm going to say this much, that the messenger gave us lessons where we would know the weight of the planet, how much is land, how much is water, and what we should do with that land, and what is it, because it belongs to us. I'm also going to say this, though, in the nation, about you, sister, well, you came to the airport to come to Philadelphia in the 80s, and Jamil and, and Ali, man, I had to pick you up, and we love you. You still look good. Now, here's another thing. Tony Montero is a Lincoln man. Michael Corder Cheney man. Good people, good friends. Good friends. I'm going to say this, that when Nakuma became the prime minister, who was also a Lincoln man, from Lincoln he went to Penn, when he was around and he was in power for a certain amount of time, if you read his speeches in 63, you know what he says? We got to get out of this country. Well, let me finish something. He said, because we're at the dinner table of America, France, and United Kingdom. He said, we need another country. So he was talking about separation then. Right. We're talking about it now. We're talking about it now. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. OK, hello, Minister. My name is Olani Adefumi, and I've heard of separation for many years. I've been around many nationalists. But one of the things I want to do is ask about once the product is there, once we have the land, does that include only black people? Does that include Latinos, Asians, whites, uh, whoever? It's a good question. It's relevant. Any, anybody? I, I, with all due respect, what's the point then? You know, we, we, here, here's what we're trying to get across here. We have never in 450 years been able to think clearly because we've, we've never been both free and among ourselves. Brother said we need to be quarantined. That's what that means. That group, under a certain set of characteristics, right now, initially, beloved, the descendants of slaves, the subject people, the people that get pulled over by the police, Sandra Bland was kidnapped off the streets of America, snatched off the street, thrown into a van, and the next time we saw her, she was dead. So initially, we need to go among ourselves. And I want to read this real quick. When we talk about should we unite first, we can't unite until we come out of here. The book of Numbers in your Bible, the tribes of Israel, they had different ideologies, different theologies. The common denominator is our ancestry and our history and our experience and what we're going through in the present moment. That's the common bond. Once we go somewhere where we can think clearly and be ourselves, the, we will solve our own problems. But Marcus Garvey said this, the only cure he didn't say the best. And the Honorable Elijah Muhammad says separation is the best and what? Only solution. So here's the Honorable Marcus Mosiah Garvey. The only cure for the Negro is his removal to an atmosphere entirely of his own where he would be forced under rigid civil and other discipline to respect himself and his own racial authority. 